But can women observe, uh, lay, uh, can they observe i'tikaf in their home? There are different forms of i'tikaf. There's the technical i'tikaf, which is i'tikaf in the masjid, which is for men and for women, by the way. If your masjid has the accommodations for sisters to be able to do that, then, then it's a sunnah for women to do as well. So the wives of the Prophet ﷺ used to observe i'tikaf as well, and some of the sahabiyat. But again, it has to be the proper accommodation. All right, I don't, we don't want any funny business happening and then Bayina getting blamed. All right, so if women have their area and men have their area, then i'tikaf can take place, inshallah, for both men and women. That's the technical i'tikaf, which is seclusion in the masjid of the Prophet of the Prophet ﷺ or any other masjid. Now, as far as the spiritual meaning of i'tikaf, which isn't the technical way, all right, which is basically just isolation and and you know secluding yourself from people and secluding yourself in ibadah, that's also rewardable and that's also something that's blessed and it's also something, the, there's a hadith where the Prophet says, what yasa'aka baytik? Let your house, I mean, I don't even know how to translate that properly, but find comfort in your home basically, okay? And we find, you know, different narrations of different salaf, Hafsa bin Sirin radiallahu ta'ala anhu rahimahullah had her own masjid basically in her home, right, where she would go into seclusion, she wouldn't come out. Um, except to fulfill her needs basically. So yes, men and women. And by the way, you know, if you're not doing the i'tikaf in the masjid, all right, then qiyam as a whole is better at home than it is in the masjid. So qiyam, aside from i'tikaf, is just, it's better at home than it is at the masjid anyway. So if you can find those moments alone, inshallah, I mean, at home and seclude yourself and pray, and do whatever you're going to do, that is rewardable and that is a way, inshallah ta'ala, of observing um, Laylatul Qadr.